Hello, as has been evidenced by the fact that uh, I haven't done an update for a while and uh, I'm doing two update, two episodes in one again. You can probably garner that Revenge of Simon has been a bit of a, you know, come down to earth. I think after the highs of this season, for this to be the last story is, um, in terms of um, structure, a shame because it's a bit naff and it's just a bit of a mess. There's loads of good stuff about it, loads of stuff that makes you think it's short. I think some of the performances are fine. The the two soldier dudes, the sacrifice in episode, episode four was meaningfully felt. I thought the death of Kelman, is it, was a bit naff, but he, as a character, is pretty good. The Vogons are okay, but let down my poor makeup. I'm really unimpressed by the Cybermen generally. I think the costumes are crap. I think the performances are crap. The dialogue's dread, dreadful, uh, which, considering it was written by Jerry Davis... Um, you would have thought he'd have a better handle. Obviously, Kit Peddler's not involved. Blah, 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 blah. I just think Revenge of the Simon is a subpar Doctor Who story, which, on the back of such a run of utter form, leaves one with a real sense of, of waste opportunities and disappointment and whatever. And that's a shame because the Return of the Simon should be a big thing, although I personally think the Simon are a bit crap, but that's just me. And generally that is so there we go so i have very little to say about revenge side men all the leads are brilliant because this is the best tardis team we've ever had even better than no it just is it just is i'm not going to defend that it's the best tardis team we've ever had tom baker is born to play the doctor um i don't want to tell you tom baker is born to play the doctor how does harry go you'll see in four episodes of time <gasps> I know. Hashtag spoilers. You didn't have to do that. Well, I'm sorry, but oh he is. Oh, my God. I know. Talk about breaking it to me gently. Does he die? No, 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 no. Does he get married? No, 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 no. What happens to him? He just goes. Why? Because he's, he only Why came for, do that? He came do for that a joint. I don't know. I'm not happy about that. I can't you didn't told, like him. I can't believe you just told me that. You didn't like I him. I never disliked him. I love this team. They're so good, aren't I'm they? I'm not watching anymore. <laughs> the Big next episode, though. I love the boo. There you go. So, um... I'm watching the next four episodes and nothing else ever. No, after that it gets really good again. No, it's not. How can it get good? Who's the next companion? Sarah's in it for ages yet. But what about Harry? Harry... <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> Let's... Tom Baker's born to play this role. Tom Baker is the best Doctor we've had so far. Tom Baker manages to do to set the template for what the Doctor is, I think, personally. And I think you can see how Tom Baker has defined this role in everybody that's come since. I know people bang on about Pertwee, um, but I don't... Yeah, and, and, and I think Troughton paved the way, but I just think the way that Baker runs with this character is just sublime. And he is just the best. I'm there to be disproved. We've got plenty of time. But he's... Awesome. Absolutely awesome. By the way, we've now watched the 400th episode of Doctor Who. We should have had a bit more of a fanfare, but... Not much anymore. Yeah, it's a bit of a pity that it wasn't... Actually, so that's 401, and that is called that be 405. I'm going to stop at that. It's my lucky number, 405. <laughs> <laughs> right. So anyway, yeah, Yabu, Revenge Time and Load Rubbish. Let's move on with the next thing. <laughs> 